I decided to do something different this video that I've never done before, and that's kind of go over how I base my models. So I've added this AA Gremlin uh, missile team, and see if it'll focus in. I just got them all painted. So what I do is I paint them individually, and then I glue them onto the base. So they've been super glued, and it's ready to go. So here comes my first step I'm going to do. So what I've done is I've taken I've taken <laughs> taking I've taken some uh, PVA glue, which is going to dry clear on there, and I put it all around their feet and on the base. And if I got any on this edge here, I used a paper towel to wipe it off. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dip it in this what's called fine turf earth, but just dirt color. So I want my base. So just like the real ground, um, there's going to be dirt that the earth's going to be on. So I get it in here, trying to make sure everything gets coated. And I just kind of let it sit in there, wiggle it around. I see some more spots that needs it. So this way it gets between the feet and everything where I've got the glue. Now I've got it on the dirt, so I take it off. And it doesn't have to be perfect at this point. And tap it off. See, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can see some of the glue sticking through because that's going to be covered up by another layer, which I'll do in just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry for a little bit, and then I'll get ready for my next layer. So that's what that looks like so far. I can touch it up some more, and I may just do that. This is where the glue dried a little bit. So maybe I'll touch it up and around those edges and everything. Let me try this. See how this goes. I'm going to try pushing it on there just a little bit. See if that helps or not. So let's see what that does. Oh, you know what? I don't know if that's going to be a good thing to do or not. So we'll do that. Tap it off. And eh, about the same. Got a little thicker. So I think I'm going to touch up the edges again with some more glue and dip it back in there. All right, so there's where I touched it up. So let's dip it back in. Wiggle around, make sure that dirt gets everywhere on that base. There we go. And tap it off. And there we go. So, you know, that I'm fine with that because I'm going to touch up the rest of the areas with the uh, some other basing. So I'll let that dry and then we'll go to our next step. All right, so now what I've done is I've touched up spots. The, um, I want the grass to go on to, to go on grow onto to go on to. So you don't want to cover up all your dirt. You want that to show through. So think of patches of grass or big patches of grass. And like I didn't get the base very good over here on some of these models. So I'm gonna use that. And what I'm gonna use is this green grass fine turf. Really nice green color to make a nice contrast to the brown. And I'll just do the same thing. I'll just get it in there. Let that grass get on top of it. Hopefully it sticks really good. Get it off there. Oh, I still got some, you can see some there, so I'm gonna try to get some more of the grass on there. So I'll do it again. Make sure I get a good coating on there. There we go. Now, the nice thing is you don't have to worry too much about where this glue is sticking out. It's going to do dry, clear, so that's not a big deal. As you see, it I got like little trails going through here, so it's looking really nice. Don't worry about the guys being covered up. That's going to come off. Uh, so I'm going to let this dry, and then I'll go through my last stage. Oh, there's one thing you can do to get some of this off. You could take just a regular brush, dry brush, and just like this and that's going to pull that green off that's kind of like kind of like think static electricity in a way 
So it's going to get all that off those models there, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. If it doesn't come off the normal way of tapping it, it's going to come off this way. So there we go. Now, I'm going to let this dry, and we'll do the last step. All right, so the last step is putting some clump foliage on. So I put some spots. Don't want to overdo it. You know, it's more like a highlight. So I kind of did those areas. And it can be where you, where you kind of messed up putting um, the grass, whatever. So you're trying to cover up some er more areas. And what I'm going to use is this light green coarse. It's more of a clumping. So there it is in the box right here. So what I do is I just grab some. And you can see how it just kind of clumps up and push it on there. So it's kind of adding a different color than the dirt and the grass. Kind of push it on there, get this on there. Get that. Just kind of get this on there. And there we go. So kind of like that. And then I could just tap it off. And, oh, get off there. And again, this looks like it's a whole bunch of, looks like it's clumping up there a whole bunch. But it's not really. It's just got to come off. There we go. And again, this glue here where it's white, it's just go it's going to dry clear. So I'm not worried about that. Kind of looking at this. Get a real good tap here. Let me try on here. I go try to. There we go. So it's kind of going to look like that when I'm done. So I've got the dirt showing through. I've got the grass showing through, and I got some clump foliage. Kind of add some height and a different color to it. And that is how I base my models.